Hi everybody. So this is a continuation of, well right at the moment, what you don't see is I'm off screen priming all the parts. For the leading edge uh, section of the right wing. And there is the splice strip that uh, we're working on. Come to find out I'm actually one um, one nut plate short of doing the splice strip. So there I am on the phone right now ordering the vans. Plus I'm missing a whole bunch of uh, pop rivets. Not missing, but I used them all in various different things so I had to order some extra pop rivets as well. So there you can see the prime lines are in. Now unlike the last time the splice strip goes against the skin first. Last time when I did the leading edge, I just started willy-nilly just clicking everything into place, and it makes it difficult if you kind of f tighten things too much. So the easy way to do this is each one of the ribs goes in, and you get the bottom four uh, uh, clicos put in on each side. That pretty much sets each rib in place. Then you can go back and then do the rest of the clicoing after that. Which is what you see me doing here. So everything is primed, everything is dimpled, everything is ready to go. Uh, basically what we're going to do is clico everything into place and then you start by riveting from the well, from the orientation of that we have it now, from the most aft rivets, which would be the top, to the most four rivets, which is the leading edge, edge is at the bottom. So uh, what we will do is we will be putting in the top two, and we do it from the center out. Uh, sorry that there's not a better camera angle for this. Well, I basically start at the center rib, do two rivets, and then go back to the side and side to side until we go all the way out to the end. Which is what I'm doing right now that you can't really see too well. Well, at least you can see it there. Now you don't have the J channel currently in Right, so it doesn't even tell you to do any of that. It tells you to clico all the ribs in, tells you to clico the landing light part in. Uh, it then says, okay, start by ribbing the t most aft ribs on the top and the bottom, and then working your way down towards the nose. And that's what we're doing here. On a side note, uh, I did wind up getting brand new uh, earbuds finally. I was tired of having no music to listen to or having to hold the phone to my ear. So just ordered myself some new earbuds. Uh, same ones, I got Beats X. In my opinion, they're the best uh, for what I need. And But I didn't get the white. So the white, they get dirty. Plus you can kind of really see them and they kind of draw attention to themselves. I just got the dark gray. I can still see them, unlike the black ones, and uh, yeah, sound is superior. The, the you know, charge it for five minutes, and you've got hours worth of of charge in it, so it's great. So what I've done is I've gone back and forth, and I'm done. So you know, you do the first two on both sides, great. Then I went back and I did five down each one of the ribs, back and forth. Because it looks like I'm not going to be... So I, as, as I've been telling people for a while, I've actually got myself a new job, uh, which is great, except for the fact that I hadn't gotten to start yet. Uh, the background process for doing the background checks is extremely extensive, uh, which I appreciate, but it's kind of just dragging on and on. It's one of these things where someone says, oh, do you have a job? I say, I, I think so. I can't. It's hard to tell. But it, so it looks like it's going to be starting next week, which is good, uh, because like I said, I really want to get this wing 
uh, in the cradle and I want it to be in the same position that the left wing is in uh, before I start working uh, I just that's how I really really want it so I'm gonna go actually I'm gonna leave here right now it's early morning on Tuesday uh, the August 7th and yeah I'm rushing out to the as soon as I'm done narrating this video I'm not even gonna upload them because I've got to upload this for later but I'm running right out to the airport to continue riveting very exciting so anyway yeah just uh, riveting away uh, no real surprises you gotta be careful when you're doing some of those lower ones one the rivets want to slip out and if you've done everything right they'll of course slip out because there won't be any the holes will be matched up perfectly so they won't have to worry about any kind of mating issue with the rivet normally if the two holes don't fit quite close together you can you know push a rivet in there and it'll stay and then you can rivet it away well that's great other thing is make sure your mushroom set on your rivet gun is flush it's not as easy when you're working by yourself so you have to be very vigilant because you don't want to leave any scars or things that you're going to have to fill with bondo later which I think I've already left one but you know big deal anyway uh, yeah just riveting away and I'm gonna be finishing that up today hopefully and then hopefully up onto the wing so uh, I'll see you soon